Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God Love Notes. I want to thank you so much my new and returning subscribers for all your energies here. Thank you so much for being a part of my soul tribe. I'm going to be getting into the reading but remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment, take what does and leave the rest. However, if it happens to resonate, please let me know by commenting down below. Or even liking this message all right um holy spirit what's the message you have for the collective energies a quick energy check for the collective holy spirit what do you need us to see at this time i have the heart fan, so yeah this um, holy spirit thank you or someone could be gaining spiritual wisdom with the heart fan being here you could be getting divine messages yeah you could be educating yourself on something collective. Your belief system, you could be working on your belief system or something that have to do with the divine. You could be working on your spirituality, if I did mention that before. I have a Two of Cups. Hmm. You're working on spirituality. Two of Cups speaks of unified love, a partnership, a mutual attraction between two persons. With the heart front and the Two of Cups being here. It's a close bond. It's a unity between you and someone. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can just be loving yourself, putting yourself, balancing yourself, balancing your masculine and your feminine energies, um, connecting with the divine, have a unified bond with the divine, with the heart friend and the two of cups being here. That's what I'm getting. So whatever you're working on, I have the Eight of Pentacles at the back of the deck. You're trying to master some craft. I guess you're trying to learn more about spirituality collective. You're developing, developing something and you're putting in some very high expertise in this. I have a Six of Swords in the, at the back of the deck. So you're leaving behind things, the old thoughts old tradition, old way of thinking, things that no longer um, hold much worth to you. You could be moving away from the old belief system to a new belief system with the heart and being here and the two of cups. So you could be having a unified bond between you and the divine. Whatever you're working on, you are leaving behind. Things that no longer serve it might be a difficult decision collective, but you are still weighing your options. Should I go? Should I stay? But at the end of the day, you are, you know, still wondering. Wondering. One foot in, one foot out, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do with this? <laughs> I have the high priestess. Yeah, so you're actually, work. you know, I know it might be hard to come to a um, final decision as to moving. Maybe you're changing the way you see religion, Christianity, or even the way you connect to the divine. You're seeing things differently now, though. The fact that you're so closely aligned with the divine. I have the high priestess, as I said. So you are getting sacred knowledge from God. You are you have this inner knowing. You don't even sure how you're getting all these messages, but you are getting messages from your higher power. You could be even listening to your inner voice. You could be even in hermit mode. You know, just self searching. I have the hold on. <laughs> at the back of the deck, I have the hermit here. I didn't even know it was there. Yeah, so at the back of the deck, you are really in hermit mode. Could be on a spiritual journey, as I said earlier, with a heart front being here, getting spiritual knowledge. You're working on yourself. Possibly you might want to be alone. You're balancing your energy with the temperance being here. You're balancing your energies, as I said, balancing your masculine and your feminine energies. Having more self-control than you did before. You're very calm. You could be even protected by your angels with the um, temperance card being here. You'll be dealing with a Sag. Who else we have? Virgo. Taurus. 
Okay, so far. All right, anything else? Yeah, I have the Four of Swords. So, as I said, you could be in hermit mode. You're resting, you're recuperating, you're rethinking things, wondering, should I, should I be going forward? What do I need to do? So you're gathering your thoughts. You could be, as I said, in solitude. You're protecting your peace at all costs, and you're connecting with the divine. You're working on a craft. Whatever this craft is, it makes you balance. It makes you at peace. It makes you feel as if you have a purpose. You, it makes you purpose-driven to be connected with God. With a unified love, two of cups being here. You know, as I said, it doesn't have to be a love situation with a male or a female, masculine, feminine. You just like you're balancing your energy or you're connecting with divine more than you ever did before. Anything else with the high priestess? Oh, yeah. I have the ace of wands, we're finding the high priestess. So you could be getting a new creative spark. Yeah. This intuitive nudges that you're going through are getting from the divine. You see, the hand is even here. It's a hand coming straight from the divine project, um, giving you a new project, igniting your passion to go or to go towards a new opportunity, a new growth, something that's gonna make you feel infused, happy, balanced, and even serene. Anything else with this Eight of Pentacles? What's this Eight of Pentacles? Oh Lord. I have a tower. And I have a Ten of Wands to verify the, the, the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever you're working on, as I said before, you're putting in a lot of work. You're putting in your expertise. You're committed to whatever you're doing. I have a tower. So the tower came, and as a result of the tower, you are seeing things differently because a tower will be in your life when things are not built on solid ground. So the tower will come to redo it for you. So you have to start from ground up. This was a burden for you at one point. There was too much burden. I have a 10 of wands. It, it was exhausting you. So it had to come to an end. Whatever old mindset or the old matrix that you were used to, those came to an end when you are now connected with God, with the, the Harfant and the Two of Cups being here. So you're working on something. You're leaving behind those old matrix or this old tradition, old religion, old way of seeing the world, old way of you're just leaving out the old and you're going into the new. All right. I have a seven of cups at the seven of cups at the back of the deck. Oh my god, I can't even speak. <laughs> yeah, so now that you I have a seven of cups, right? Mm -hmm. You have many choices at this point. You have many choices in love. With the seven of cups being here, you have opportunities. You're searching for your purpose, as I said. There was a two of two of swords at the back of the deck. I didn't take it out. But you're searching for your purpose. And whatever your purpose is, is gonna bring you this eight of pentacles. You're working hard and it's gonna bring you the ace of wands, a new project that you're gonna be working on. New initiative, new creative spark, whatever it is. I have the king of pentacles at the back, who's a practical leader. So going forward, you could be embodying this energy, this King of Pentacles energy, very practical, very business sense. You could be also um, very abundant. Could be a father figure I'm speaking with, or even a feminine in their masculine energy. Anything else? I have the magician. Yes, you're gonna be turning whatever vision you have into reality. Even though, as I said before, you are still wondering if you should go or if you should come. But with the Magician card being here, you're going to be able to manifest all this that I just mentioned here. The Ace of Wands. You're going to put a new creative spark into the world. I'm not sure what this is, but the fact that you're connected to God is giving you the drive, the enthusiasm. You're even protected by your angels. You're doing soul searching. 
you're moving, leaving behind old tradition, thoughts, anything that no longer serves your highest good. Those were all possibly illusions that you were holding on to, but now you're moving on because those illusions were burdened. And as a result, there was a tower. So now you're resting and you're recuperating and you're balancing your energies. You're going to be manifesting this and you're going to be the practical leader of your entire kingdom. You're going to be a practical leader of your life. You're going to even be leading others to the divine because you're so closely aligned and connected with God. Wow. Yeah. You're getting intuitive messages from the divine with the high priestess being here. And I have the page of cups. So with the page of cups being here, it is telling me you are connect your energy. You might be an adult, but your energy is like a child. You know, you're able to absorb the messages that's being sent to you intuitively. Because as I said, you're leaving behind all those illusions, those matrix, those things that no longer align with you to move into something new with a six of swords being here. All right, anything to close the reading? I have the sun. Oh, Lord, what else could you ask for? So this is pure positivity going forward. This is the best read I've ever had for a while. <laughs> no negativity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is going to be happiness, joy, bliss. Putting down these burden, you're going to be seeing the light at the end of a tunnel. You're going to be manifesting this in your life. I have a ten of pentacles. Yeah, so you're going to be leaving even legacy, family roots, um, long-term success. All those will be yours because you're now aligned with the divine. Aligning with the divine, you're also getting... The blessings that you were supposed that you were supposed well that you were owing you leave behind the old things and now it's like you have a container that is full of something that is not of value and once you empty out that bucket and you have the space to put new things so this is what i'm i'm picturing you're now emptying out the old and you're taking in the new so now you have space to collect something that's new and i have the six of pentacles so this is what you work for collective oh god this is what you work for so this is equal give and take so whatever energy you put out into you <laughs> i'm having chills i'm sorry <laughs> whatever energies you put out into the universe they're actually paying you back oh lord the universe, our God, is actually repaying you with the Six of Pentacles because you're dropping the load of the old tradition or things that no longer serves you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. So I'm going to end the reading. But um, anything else? Anything? Mm. I have the hangman, but it's in the reverse. Yeah. So with the hangman in the reverse, it is actually telling me you were posted at a particular situation in your life for a very long time. But after the tower, you were stagnant. Well, you were stagnant. So when the tower came, everything was down to ashes. So now you were able to pick up pieces or bits and pieces of things that may be left or left off you to build something new. Wow. Yeah. So you're no longer stuck in a victim mentality. Even though the, this comes in the reverse, I'm not feeling as if this is your energy. Or I want to keep it positive. Yeah. So as I said, you could be at a standstill at one point. Even to this point, you could still be at a standstill wondering, is this for real? I mean, all my life I've worked so hard and I've done all the best I think I can, but now is your time to be paid, to be repaid. And God is the universe is actually paying you for all of this. I have the King of Swords at the back of the day. This is mental clarity for you. You are very intelligent. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I have also 
the wheel of fortune this is all positive cards so far so your luck is so good at this time whatever you gave to the universe is actually coming back to you i don't know how to say it even clearer but keep working on yourself collective i don't even know i'm not seeing any negatives here or what you need to work on but keep working on yourself even though we are human we always have things to fix we always have things to work on we might believe that we are perfect but no one is we all have our own journey our own path our own struggles but at the same time we can't give up so collective thank you so much again for joining me here at the galaxy with god your notes peace i leave with you goodbye and before I go, if the reading resonates with you or you just happen to like the reading, please comment down below and let me know or subscribe. Thank you.